Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, there's portholes in our longboat. That's weird. Oh, come on. God damn it. Why does everything have to be so hard? It's a damn good thing those guys didn't get a beat on me, man. Because we would have been screwed. Or maybe I should, uh not get in quite so close with this ship. Alright, anyway, I think we're back in business now. Okay, um, doesn't look like we can get very far going that direction, and it's right next to the planes with the fort and the fuelings and their ogre buddy. So, what we might do is... more of the boat over here and go over land to get to bone mass. Unless we can um, get around like this way, but yeah, we're getting further away is the problem. There is a, a crypt there. That would be a good place to set up a, a portal, because it's pretty safe. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Fuck off, leech. Oh, leave me alone. Whew. <laughs> 
Oh my god, this game is just brutal. Okay. Let's see if we can maybe park right over here. I don't th think he'll come all the way over here. I don't know, is he gonna? need to try and do is get to that crypt. Um, he can't hurt us up on the crypt. How much wood do I have? Alright, we got plenty of wood. I think our ship will probably be okay there. Oh fuck, a one star. Oh, that's right, we turned the difficulty down. It seemed like the one star draggers were actually tougher than the elites. And I'm not the only one that was saying that. A couple other people playing on the server were saying it too. Which is really weird. You'd think the elites would be tougher, you know? over there. We got two nor uh, a one star archer driver. timing. <sighs> so stressful. I'm supposed to pop one of these. We need to make more of those before we take on bone mass anyway. Well, not necessarily. If the fight goes well, we'll only go through one anyway. Maybe two at the most. Okay, there's a spawner over there and some skellies. I'm more concerned about the abomination, though. We also have a blob we're going to have to deal with at that crypt. Okay, let's pull them away from the abomination. I should have my helmet on. Come here, Bubba.
Okay. We're safe up here. Um, let's grab you. Okay. What I'm going to do is go home, replenish our rested buff, and we need to grab materials for another um, portal for bone mass. So we need to go southwest. All right, let's do it. Try and avoid uh, the abomination. He's over that way. The one thing I haven't figured out about those guys is how to know if you are about ready to walk up on one because, you know, they just look like some uh, you know, a tree or some roots and stuff in the ground. None of these crypts are, have been touched. It's very interesting. Um, why don't we put ladders up at each one of these if we need a quick escape route. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just keep going this direction. Hopefully we can find a crypt that's really close to bone mass, and that's where we'll put up our bone mass uh, por portal. There's a Draugr spawner that way. We have some certling, a certling spawner here. Okay, so we either have to go through the Sertlings or we have to go through the Draugr. And there's going to be Draugr in that tower over that way. Um, let's see if we can scooch around the Sertlings. You know what else I should be doing, too, is... Um, that crypt that we just put the ladder on, I think is this one back over here. We should be marking those so we can get back to them quickly. started from uh, yes yeah, way back that way because I can see the spawner or the thingy on it so it's gonna be right about here okay
Yeah, we need to leave ourselves a little bit of a breadcrumb trail. being in the swamp, man, because you're wet all the time. All right, let's go this way. That's a pretty easy to get muck ball or guck ball. Grab it. So we'll, we'll skirt the certs. Skirtlings, the certlings. They're not really that hard to kill, but I'll mess with them if we don't have to. Why did the world start shaking? Yeah, there's bone mass right there. Oh good, there's a crypt over there too. Perfect. Um, we are going to do a little bit of work around this area before we fight him, though. Basically, we're going to fill in this water. Um, and we might need to take out that Draugr spawner, too, just so we don't have stuff in the way. This is good, though, actually. This crypt is in an ideal location. I guess the bone mass that the other guys did must have been a different one, because there's no sign of anybody having been here. See, that crypt's not open or anything. Alright, good. Let's just put you there for the moment. And we'll get... You up there. I'll put you there. And Yeah, we we just wouldn't want to Draw bone mass over here because we could wreck stuff. I, well, I think we'll be okay. Famous last words, right? All right, let's put this down. Huzzah! Okay, this is good. This is very, very good. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, you on our toolbar. And let's put our light on. And I'm just going to basically go through now and rate. Are you serious?
All right. Um. He's definitely got to go. Um, I don't think I have enough fire arrows to kill him, though. So, we're probably going to have to go back. Yeah, let, let's let's go make some more fire arrows. This game is fighting me tooth and nail, man, I swear. It really is. Oh well, we don't want it to be easy. That's boring. <laughs> All right, let's um, ooze bomb. That probably does poison damage. Or does it? The stench is unbearable. What if? If that did fire damage? Hmm. I don't know. I know we can definitely kill him with fire arrows, though. But we need. A decent amount of them. You know, now that we have our portal down, I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab this bow because uh, this bow does 51 pierce damage versus 41, so yeah. If we lost, if we lost it, it would absolutely suck, but it wouldn't be catastrophic like losing our whole entire fully upgraded armor set would be catastrophic He's taking out our ladder. That's right, we can rebuild that. Oh! Well, that would be a good strategy for him to do is kick us off of here. He almost did. <laughs> He's trying to take down the crypt. I don't think that's possible. It's almost down. Got him. Whew, okay. None of this took damage. Didn't expect that it would, but... Alright, let's go loot him. We can make armor from his... his giblets. And it's actually supposed to be pretty good armor to use against bone mass because of its poison resist. Um, but the iron armor's good too because just because it, you know, it's got flat out really good physical resistance. Okay, now, what the fuck? What the hell, man? You can't do this to me, game. What kind of bullshit is this? Gotta be kidding me. Now there goes our ladder again. Enough! Enough already! Okay, let's try this again. Got a goopity goop coming here. 
We're going to have to be fighting a lot of those uh, when Bone Mass starts. Okay, so the idea here is just to raise the ground up enough so that we're not slowed down by the water. Um, it doesn't matter if we get wet, obviously, because we're in the swamps or we'll be wet all the time anyway. But we just want to be able to move quickly and not get slowed down, you know, by going into deep water. So I'm just going to raise up the terrain here a bit. Okay, I think we got the ground pretty well prepared here. Does get a little bit deep right through here. But we probably won't be coming this far away from him anyway. But uh, this whole area here now is high enough up to where we won't get slowed down. And I don't like the fact that this is here. That could... We could get pinned down against that, so we're going to have to be really careful. And then we filled this in over here, so we got plenty of room all the way over to here. almost think we should maybe do this up a little more, too. Just to be on the safe side. Okay, yeah, that's, that's enough room. And then this is all raised up, at least to this point. And again, that's about as far away as we would get from him. That gets a little deep right there. Uh, we need. We probably should go deal with that Draugr spawner too, just in case. Because if we got just a little bit too close to it... Um, We could spawn some and then, you know, have ads that we don't really want to have. Okay, yeah, that makes that a little bit better. Okay, yep, I think we're, we're good to go here. Uh, so let's get this Draugr spawner out of here. We could probably take some of those out. Uh, with archery. Or at least soften them up a bit. Yeah, that one's down. Okay, good. Just have one to deal with. Ouch. Much easier than they were before. Okay. <clears throat> this is the only one I, I would be concerned about. I don't think any of the rest of them are close enough to be a problem. Yeah, I don't like this thing sticking out here either. So we're going to have to be really mindful of this and... Um, the one on the across the way here too that we don't get caught up on those things okay so um I went ahead and actually made the mask from the abomination um and then upgraded it to level three because it uh, gives me poison resistance uh, I am sacrificing eight points of armor though because my uh, fully upgraded iron helm gives me 20 armor but I think um, I think it's probably you know a, a decent decent trade-off. Uh, so yeah, as you can see in the stats, this does have poison resistance. Let's see, we have our ten bones here, and um, we don't 
I don't need to take uh, this along, not for that fight. <clears throat> uh, we have 10 healing meats, not that we would be able to use those, and 10 poison resist. 8 minor stamina and the, the tasty mead. Uh, I don't really actually use the tasty mead because I don't like the fact that it reduces my health regeneration and it doesn't last very long either. Which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Okay, um, I am going to take the swamp key and open that crypt uh, that's over there just as a, as a second, you know, uh, place to escape. So let's do that. Then we're going to come back, put the key away, and then, you know, get fully rested up and then go take this guy out. Um, and hopefully we don't have... Uh, more abominations spawning either because uh, we had two like in a row earlier but I just want to open this up so we can actually escape into here if we needed to for any reason and let's make sure there aren't any immediate threats that can come after us too that one's blocked okay um, something else too I was reminded by um, one of the guys that I play with. I guess we'll grab that stuff. Why not, right? That I could actually use the the vein mine mod uh, on this on the scrap house. And for whatever reason, it never actually occurred to me to do that. So <laughs> I was mining them the old-fashioned way. Uh, but anyway, I don't want to do it right now because, um, for one thing, I, I think I mentioned this earlier. We can't carry uh, ore back the portals anymore we turned that ability off um so i don't want to to do that right uh for right now okay so let's just run over here real quick and make sure that no abominations are going to spawn and give us give us a hassle i just uh it's actually the next day in real life and i just logged on to the server so i think it's right around midday I'd prefer it not to turn night while we're doing this fight, but I think we have enough time, hopefully. So yeah, it looks like uh, we're good to go as far as no abominations popping in here. So let's go back to the base, get rested up, buffed up, dried off. Not that that matters because we're going to get wet again. And then we'll do this fight. We got food, we got arrows. Let's leave the flint head arrows here. They're not doing us any good. Fire arrows can hurt bone mass a little bit. They're not really super effective, but they're kind of effective. And then, of course, let's make sure we're fully uh, repaired, too. Okay. I think we're ready to do this. Um, I, haven't, I haven't fought bone mass in probably about two years or so, so I don't know if they've changed his mechanics, but he basically has three attacks. He's got his puke attack, his swipe attack, and then he also does, um, uh, he also spawns in adds that we'll have to deal with too. Okay, let's go ahead and take our food now. So by the time we're ready to start, we should be fully buffed. Um, I'm gonna put the poison there and yeah, we'll, we'll keep those, those three in those spots. I got my 10 bones, of course, that we need to do the actual summoning. Uh, let's see. We're fully rested. I don't know if the storm here uh, actually hits the swamp at the same time or if it's biome specific. But I'm not really too worried about it because we're going to get wet no matter what we do. So it doesn't hardly matter. Yeah, it looks like the storm is here as well. Uh, oh, is it? Well, maybe it just, maybe it just subsided. I don't know. <clears throat> All right. Let's get this done. So we want to avoid as much as possible. We want to avoid his puke. Um, I can block his swipes, but they they you know, they'll do some damage. So we'll try and you know we'll try and roll out of the way of those as best as we can. I still hate the rolling in this game. And um, otherwise, yeah, let's let's do this. Boiling death. All right, here it goes. Wish me luck, everybody.
The mass is moving. All right, let's get in a couple hits. Oh, well, that wasn't off to a good start. Okay, there's his puke attack. I thought he was, uh, I thought he was turned the other way. But you want to kind of stay on top of those ads because otherwise they'll... Oh, shit. Come on, man. Get the rolling down here. Okay. Okay. Got a good roll that time. Stay out of the puke. Let him come towards us. Do a roll, a couple hits, and then get away from him. Couple hits, and then get away from him. Take out his ads. He's going to puke. Okay. Let's let him come around the corner here. Oh, I forgot to take the poison resistance. <laughs> okay, we got it now. Not, not the smartest thing I've done. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much all we have to do. We just don't want to get greedy or anything. But we already got him down about 20%. The mace is really good to use against this dude. Probably throw some ads at us here in a second. No, he's gonna puke again. Can't believe I forgot the poison resistance. It's the first thing I should have done. And away with ya. Okay, here we go. We'll do four hits. What you gonna do, Boyle? Come at me, bruh. Four hits and then run away. my stamina here. That's all. That's all he threw out. I think he's he might be having a little bit of trouble moving around just because of the uh, you know these branches and stuff that's in the way. He's usually right on you. See it's almost like he can't move through here because he keeps going back around that other way. That's really interesting. Miss me. Oh shit. Yeah, see that? I was afraid I was going to get caught on those too. Let's see if he comes through here or if he... Can he come through here or does he have to go back around the other way? Yeah, see, he, he can't even come through here. That's interesting. All right, we got him almost halfway. I'm just kind of minding my stamina here. Okay, let's go this way. And he's got to go around the other direction. Okay, well, I mean, the good news is I've got lots of time to regen my stamina with this setup here. Get out of the poison. Can he come through? Uh, no, he can't quite get through there. Look at that.
Okay. Let's let him come back around this way. He's probably going to do his... Yep, yeah, he's going to do his puke. Oh, well, I didn't time that one very well. Alright. Now we can use some stamina. Oh! Okay, that wasn't good. Let's pop one of these. Okay. I think we're doing okay on health, huh? Um, what are we... What are you, what's he doing? Let's go ahead and pop Ikether right, right at the moment. Oh, we got five hits off that time. Oh, shit. there. Okay, I'm going to take one of these. Um, I, my my knee-jerk reaction is not, not to hold down the right mouse button when I try and dodge, and that's why sometimes I jump instead of dodge. I have to really train myself to do that. and block this hit. Okay, it does some damage. It doesn't do a hell of a lot of damage, but it does some. And that's it. All right, that was uh, that was pretty damn easy, <laughs> to be honest with you. It wasn't that hard. Oh, looks like uh, Hugan wants to have a chat with us. I haven't talked to him in a bit. Seems one of the mini bones. This living ossuary hid in his belly was a wishbone. This bone contains powerful magic. Let you find silver veins on the ship. Okay, cool. Um, there you go. All right, bone mass is down. Not really all that difficult. Um, I could have even, I mean, you know, with my health regen, I could have even probably just blocked all of his hits rather than, uh, you know, trying to dodge. But I need to get better at dodging anyways. But there you have it. Bone mass is defeated. All right, guys. Um, so, of course, our next uh, thing on the list now is, is to start doing mountains. And um, probably all of the mountains on our main island have already been done by the other guys. So I'll have to kind of look around maybe on some of the neighboring islands and, and find a good large mountain range to, to go through. Uh, and then, you know, then we start doing the silver grind. And, um, you know, I got to go get my ship, don't I? Okay. Yeah, we got to do, start doing the silver grind and it is, uh, the plan is just so you know, the, uh, the other two or three guys that have been on the server a little longer than me, they're kind of waiting for me to catch up with them. And then, uh, the plan is for us to take on motor together, um, in, in multiplayer. And if you didn't already know this, when you... You know, if, if you have more players in the fight, the boss scales up, so he's going to be a lot tougher. Uh, so it's not necessarily going to be easier, you know, for us to do that. But, uh, you know, I guess what I'm trying to say is you're probably going to start to see a little bit more multiplayer uh, as we continue in this series, which has been the intent all along anyway. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to work my way back through the swamp um, and grab my other portal and my longship and then... Probably, I might, here, let's actually actually look at the map. I might take the longship, which is right over here, and maybe do some more sailing around just to uncover some more territory. Uh, there is a pretty sizable mountain, though, here on this island, so maybe, maybe that's the one we should 
start uh, doing stuff on and, and maybe we'll build like a little outpost or something we'll see but anyway that is it for this episode hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video we'll catch you in the next one Bye bye